Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sari and these are my knitting podcast videos. And the last three videos that I made have been all about my book. So my book, this is the Finnish version, but it's also in English. It looks exactly the same, but the title is here in Finnish instead of uh, English. Um, but anyway, my book Softly Timeless Knits came out two weeks ago and like I said, the last three videos um, were about the book, so I was showing you everything that I made for the book, so all the designs that are in this book. And um, the book has 22 new designs. Everything was designed especially for this book, so you don't get the uh, patterns anywhere else at the moment, except in, in the book. Maybe later I will release some individual patterns, but for the time being, they are only available in the book. And the book has been selling really well, that I have heard. And you can get it from many places, for example, from my publisher. But um, there are other places as well. So a lot of uh, yarn stores have taken it in their selection. And also it's available through many bookstores, um, both um, online and, and um, in brick and mortar stores. So check out your local yarn stores, your local bookstores, online bookstores for, for the book. Uh, I think it's quite well available already. I will link everything that I mentioned in this video below below the video. So if you go to the description section of this video, so below this video where I have written um, what this video is about, there you can find all the links about everything that I say in this video. I will link my publisher. Um, so if you want, you can order the book directly from them or then check out your local yarn and bookstores, like I said. Um, I have been making a little bit of um, book-related stuff uh, during the past two weeks. I've been quite busy. First, I went to uh, my, my own local yarn store, Snurre, and I signed all the copies that they, they sell there. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise for everybody who bought a book from there. So they got a signed copy. And then last week I went to Jyväskylä, another city here in Finland, that has another great yarn store called Tititu. And I was there on Friday and Saturday and had the book kind of like a little uh, trunk show. I had all the book knits with me and we did a couple of Instagram lives from there uh, talking about the knits and yarn alternatives and so on. And there are going to be other similar occasions coming up uh, both in Finland as well as overseas but as soon as I get dates uh, settled for those I will keep you posted where I will be with the book and, and the book knits. This Thursday we are going to have the official uh, book release party, so I will be taking a bit of photos and and um, let's see if I manage to take any videos from there so I can share them with you in my next um, YouTube video. But yeah, the book is out and if you want to hear more about it, see what's inside, then check out my previous three videos because that's all about the book and nothing else. So just book-related book stuff. Another thing that has happened here during the past few weeks, I released a little pullover pattern. It's this one that I'm wearing at the moment. So this was my first sample. And I've been wearing this a lot, so the Lucke Pullover pattern is now available both on Ravelry and also in my web shop. And I also started a little 
um, a knit along for the Luca pullover. So if you want to join it, I will link the Ravelry group below this video. Um, you can join even though you're not on Ravelry, um, the, the um, hosting to knit along both on Ravelry as well as on Instagram. So if you take a photo of your Luca pullover um, between now and uh, 15th of December and you either share it in my Ravelry group or on Instagram using hashtag uh, LukeCal, I think it was not Luca pullover call. I will write it here so you will get to see the, the actual um, hashtag so look a call and uh, everything like I said I will write everything all the links to my Ravelry group and to the pattern and and so on below this video so you can check that out from there so all you have to do is start making your look a pullover it doesn't have to be finished by the mid um, December deadline because I kind of I want to encourage people to work at their own pace and not make things with uh, crazy deadlines. So it, you just have to start during this time and take a photo of what you're making, your uh, work in progress or your finished pullover. And you can either share it in the rubber group or on Instagram using the hashtag uh, or both if you want. And that's it. And um, at the end of the knit along, so mid December, I will be picking um, four winners total, both from the Ravelry group as well as on Instagram. So I have two sets of um, uh, prizes for the winners. So the first prize is I teamed up with Prim, and I have this amazing. Um, needle set, so it's an interchangeable needle set from Prune. It has needle sizes, here you can see the needle sizes over there and four different cable lengths. Let me just open this. This is my own, so I put one for me as well, so three of these total. So this is not something that I'm going to give away, so this is for me. But I have two similar sets of needle cases to give away to you guys for the winners. So it looks like this. It's a beautiful sage green um, satchel for them. And here you can see the wooden needles. So they are interchangeable needles. And over here, this little pocket there are them all the cable cords that you can use for this so this is one of the prizes so you will get prim case needle case with interchangeable needles and also extra little thing this was so cute so this is a needle size uh, gauge measuring tool so you can just put your needle through the hole so you can see what size needle you are using it's a super cute cat so I have two similar sets of these so one for one person who posted their photo on Ravelry and one who posted their photo on Instagram. And the second prize is my book. So I will be giving all away two books as well. So one for somebody who posted a photo on Ravelry and one for somebody who posted a photo on Instagram using hashtag Lykkekal. So that's pretty much it. Also, there's a separate Ravelry group for like chatting. So if you want to chat with me, um, Emma, who is also co-hosting the to, to Knit Along, it's the same Emma who answers a lot of my uh, test knitting 
um, uh, questions and she is also a very good friend of mine. She um, did a lot of work for my book as well so she's been helping me out a lot lately. So either me or Emma will be answering your questions uh, on Ravelry and you can also chat with other people, see what they are making, what colors they are choosing and so on. So join the knit along over there. The knit along itself doesn't cost anything so if you have the pattern, if you want to start knitting it, then just join to knit along. It's it's free to join and like I said, you don't have to finish the sweater during the knit along. It's enough that you started it and then just keep working at your own pace. So this is my look at pullover and I have made a second one as well because I love this pattern so much. So I made one with grey and white. So this one was knitted with a Sunness garn. There's Luna going around over here, making noise, our cat. Um, but anyway, so this was knitted with Sunness garn, um, silk, alpaca silk, and then their thin silk mohair in two colors. And this one is knitting for olives. Merino and their um, soft silk mohair. I will write the colorway names that I have used below this video so you can check them out from there. And for the first version I made this uh, double folded color and for the second one I decided to make like more of a funnel color and I also added the contrasting stripe there at the, at the um, end of the color as well so the contrasting stripe is also here on the cuffs and also on the hem. So I've been wearing both of these a lot ever since I have finished them. I absolutely love wearing them. They're very classic but because of the zigzag pattern there's something a bit of extra. So it's not your totally basic um, striped sweater. And um, the, the stripes, even though they look like Fair Isle, they are not. They are actually, they are stripes, so you knit with only one color at a time. And because you make some um, increases and decreases in the pattern, that makes the zigzag happen. So it's not standard knitting, you're not using two colors at the same time, only, only working stripes in, in one color. And then I had my sample knitter, Jessica made, she made one more version for me. So this also has the funnel neck. And this is also knitting for olives, merino and um, soft silk mohair. I can't remember the colorway names. I have to check what they were, I think. One of them was like dark cognac or something, but I will write them below this video, but it looks like, like this. So again, totally different look from this when you just change the colors and you change um, kind of like this one has a light um, base and a dark stripes, whereas this one has a darker base and light stripes and the gray one that I had over here this also has like darker darker a base but and light um, stripes but it has a lot of less contrast whereas these two versions have a lot of contrast between the stripe color and the base color so just by changing the color the whole look of the pullover changes. So these are my three look at pullovers and next up I'm going to be making a cardigan. Let's see if I have the yarn here that I was planning to use. Yeah, here it is. So I haven't chosen the stripe color yet but maybe not as beige as this but not something very like cream colored I was thinking. So I'm going to use um, 
Sunday and Tun Silk Bow Hair from Sunday Scarn for the base and then I'm going to make light stripes with something like off-white cream sand color stripes and this is the new Bristol black color from uh, Sunday Scarn. It's not quite black so if you compare it with the black black stripes so it has kind of like brown purple undertones and for the mohair you can see it even more easily that it's not quite black but it's a really beautiful color color I really really like it so that's what I'm going to be using for my Luca cardigan I've been really into the zigzag pattern lately um, if you have been following me for a longer time, you know that I very rarely knit something twice. So the fact that I have knitted this sweater twice and I'm also planning to make a cardigan, that means that uh, this pattern is super fun to make. I, and uh, also I think because it has the stripes, it kind of feels like you're knitting faster because you're only knitting until the end of the stripe and then you're changing colors so it's not like you're working a whole sleeve but um, you're just working all, always a little bit and then the stripe and then another little bit and again another stripe so it feels like it's quicker to knit than just unicolor projects so I made a matching hood of balaclava it's th still i uh, want to make an i cord string for it so there are like these little holes that i made over here so i will have a string and for this i used leftover yarns from the gray and white look at pullover so it looks like like this and then, then it's going to have the strings over there so this is I'm hoping I can get the pattern finished, writing the pattern this week and then I will call for test knitters for this one. And another little pattern that I'm making at the moment is this color. It's almost finished. So for this one I used the same colors that I used for for my sweater and I'm just going to fold the end of the cowl on the inside and then use kitchener stitch to stitch the ends together so it's going to be a tube like this so i'm planning to add one more stripe to it and then when you put it on it's going to look look like this on my neck so that's something that i'm making at the moment as well um, I have a few more things that I wanted to show you, other things that I have on my needles, um, also a couple of finished things, something that I want to show you, but um, let's start with this one. So this was not knitted by me, this was knitted by my sample knitter Greta, and this is a Billy pullover. So I made a new version of the Billy Pullover. So this is the Billy Pullover Mohair Edition and it's available on Ravelry as well as on um, my website on sarinardl.com. Um, this one was knitted with Tukupool fingering and in the colorway Home. and Isagar silk mohair and this is the colorway 2S so light, very light grey so this is the combination and here's the, the pullover so it's exactly the same as the original Billy Pullover so if you have the original pattern I don't think you need to buy buy this one so you can just work it with the same yarns to get the same end result so I decided to make it into its own pattern 
to kind of like appeal to another set of customers because there are some people who want to have a mohair version and not want to knit with iron weight yarn. So this is slightly lighter, um, slightly looser um, fabric. So the, the gauge is the same, but since I changed the, the yarn to a slightly thinner, so it's a bit more airy. It has a bit, a bit more drape than the original version. And of course it has the bit of um, fluff from mohair. But basically, if you have the original pili pullover pattern, then you can manage with that. Uh, you don't have to buy the mohair version. So it's just like um, another example of what you can do with the pattern. So this is now available on Ravelry and in my web shop. Web, <laughs> web shop. The Billy family is also getting another another um, member this week, so I will be adding the Billy pullover pattern finally to Ravelry and my web shop. I'll just close the buttons over here at the same time as I thought. And I say finally because this is something that has been uh, in the works for such a long time. So this was also knitted by my sample knitter, Sari. And I already got it back from her last winter, but um, I wanted to make the button pants myself to see that um, what kind of button pants I want to make and how many buttons and so on. And then I was so busy last winter with the book and everything that went into it, so I didn't have time to make the button bands. And when the book business finally kind of like calmed down, it was already March or something like that. And I thought that it's not a good time to start putting out a heavyweight cabled cardigan pattern. So I decided to wait until this autumn, so now it's it has been test knitted and I have made the button bands. So the pattern is now ready to be released. So it looks like this. So this one was knitted with a Cascade 220, like the original Billy Pullover. I think this colorway was called Doe Skin or something like that. Again, I will write it below this video. I've checked out the colorway name and, and the number. But yeah, the Billy Pullover pattern is coming out this week. So this is how the back looks like. So it has an all-over cable pattern, a bit of seed stitch on the sides and kind of like this honeycomb pattern as well. So this is the Billy. Billy Cardigan, the new pattern, coming out very soon. And then I have this little scarf that I have made. I haven't woven in the yarn ends yet. I just finished writing this pattern, so this is going to be available for test knitting this week. And it's a small lightweight scarf, um, the same way as my Laulu shawl, so you can just like wrap it around your neck or if you want you can put it also, also this way, maybe tie it in the front if you want, or something like this or Throw the other end over your shoulder. There are so many ways to wear it. And I knitted this one with yarn from um, Chaos Yarn. So the same yarn over here. This is a different colorway, but I used Chaos Yarn uh, Organic Soft Merino and their organic brushed alpaca. So it's not silk mohair, but it's 
100% alpaca, so it's a bit softer, I would say, but also a, a bit fussier than um, silk mohair. So this is the combination. You only need one ball of each for this scarf. So I think the colorway was called Zealous. So it's a very bright green. And I used the same stitch pattern as I used for my Karina t-shirt design earlier this year. I'm still going to make this same scarf in another color maybe. I don't know yet. I have this leftover knitting for olive silk mohair, this caramel color. So I was planning to use this. I just have to find a good matching um, merino for it. Or maybe of white would also be really nice for this one. And the pattern is written so that you can easily just keep adding pattern repeats. So if you want a slightly larger shawl, then you can always add one more pattern repeat for it. But this is going to be available for test knitting this week. So the pattern is coming out maybe in a month or something like that. And then I have three more things that I want to show you. So in one of my previous videos I mentioned that I was going to make let's, let's over here the book and show it to you from here. So it was the Arcade Color Scarf. has kind of like this color in the middle and then two long scarves that you can wrap around your neck here you can see and in the beginning when I was starting to make the book I had planned to make a color version of that as well but I kind of ran out of time and also have to say stop at some point you can just like keep adding things into the book so I had to um, decide to stop somewhere and I th that's where I stopped but um, the color version has been on my mind so I decided to make it as well so I'm using leftovers from the mohair billy pullover and I have made the turtleneck part and I'm now ready to separate the sides and start the, um, the cable pattern but I'm just going to make a couple of repeats of the pattern and then ribbing so it's something like like this on both on the front and the back so it's um, a color instead of being um, full length scarf so that's something that I'm making at the moment and I have a sweater project over here so this is the moonflower pullover a new pattern that I'm making so it's like this cabled gorgeousness so this is an Aran white yarn from Camellia Fiber Company so let's this one here, here, Serene Merino Aran yarn. The colorway was called Moonflower, so that was first kind of like my working title for it. But when I started to see the pattern emerge, I thought that it's a very good name for the pullover, so I decided to keep that. So it has kind of a lot of texture, different kind of cables, just like this mock cable stitch over here as well and then this larger cable pattern in the middle and folded neck kind of like some of my signatures that I like to make for my patterns so this is something that I've been making I'm knitting this on five millimeter needles 
so it feels super fast to make so with large needles like this even though you have time to knit only a round or two it still feels like you're making a lot of progress while you're making or knitting it so super happy with this i have a soft spot for white cabled pullovers um just love them everything looks so good when it's <laughs> white and it has cables or some other kind of texture so you can't never go wrong with white cables in my opinion so that's something that i'm making at the moment i'm hoping to finish the pattern quite soon and then it's ready for test knitting and let's see i'm hoping to release the pattern before christmas but let's keep our fingers crossed and here's another new pattern that i've been working on so i have been wanting to make a v-neck sweater for a longer time now and this is what I've been making, so I decided to add like this very simple cable on the front as well as like this ridged uh, ribbing and then seed stitch. So the back is in only in seed stitch and then there's an I-card edge to the neck. So this is how it looks like at the moment and then for the sleeves i will be adding the same kind of cable like here on the top of the sleeve and then a seed stitch on the side so this is my another of my current main project that I'm working on. I often have one or two larger things that I alternate between and then a couple of smaller things that I can fit in my purse when I'm going to um, the shop or wherever. So if I have to sit on the bus or, or in the car for a while then I want to have something small that it's easy to take with me while I'm traveling because I don't want to carry a big sweater project like this with me. So that's why I usually work on my sweater projects when I'm at home and then I work on smaller projects when I'm um, traveling. Of course when you have just started knitting the sweater then it's a one skein project and it's small then that's when I often take it with me, but when it has reached kind of like this point that it's starting to wait quite a lot and take uh, quite a lot of room in my bag, then I prefer taking smaller things with me when I'm going out. But you very, very, very rarely go anywhere without one or maybe sometimes even two knitting projects in my bag. So. I have noticed that every time I leave the house and I don't take something with me then something happens and I have to sit for example at the doctor's for two hours and waiting my turn or the car breaks down and I have to sit somewhere and wait. So usually always if I don't have a knitting project with me then I have to sit and wait somewhere for a long time and then I'm cursing myself for not bringing my knitting with me so that's why I usually always take something with me wherever I go. But that was everything I had for today. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the name that I had for the yarn name that I had for uh, the v-neck sweater. So it was from Wool and Twine and it was their um, linen DK so it's 25% um, linen 75% blue faced leather so BFL um, wool yarn so it's beautiful beautiful blend it has a bit of sheen from the linen and the BFL makes it super soft so it's beautiful and as you can see 
it has an amazing stitch definition so even the seed stitch looks so good and gorgeous over here so that was everything for today um, remember to take part in the look pullover knit along and like I said all the yarn names all the pattern names all the links everything that I have mentioned in this video is in the description section below over there and if you like my videos make sure you subscribe to my channel so you will always get a notification when a new video comes up in my channel and yeah that's everything I had see you bye